Hello friends, welcome to another problem solving session on polynomials and uh, we are dealing with uh, remainder theorem, right? Application of remainder theorem. Now the question says, if the polynomials fx equals ax cube plus 4x square plus 3x minus 4 and gx equals x cube minus 4x plus a leave the same remainder when divided by x minus 3. So this is the divisor and they leave the same remainder when both of them are divided by x minus 3. You have to find out the value of a, this a here, right? What is the value of a? So what we have done is, this is fx, fx is equal to this much. We have written that down. And divisor is x minus 3. Now, from remainder theorem, what do we see? That if fx is divided by ax plus b, then remainder will be simply f of minus b by a. Correct? A remainder will be the value of the polynomial if you replace x or the variable by minus b by a. So clearly in this case, the first case, uh, the what is the uh, value of b and a is uh, in terms of the divisor. I'm talking about divisor. Don't get confused by the a which is here. It's a little misleading. But anyways, general term I'm talking about where you have to divide by a linear ax plus b. You can see this is our divisor in this case. What is this? ax plus b form and I'm comparing this with x minus 3. So clearly a is 1. Now this a is not this one. So let me do one thing. I am, you know, replacing it with capital A. And yeah, so that will make it much easier. Okay, so this a here, this divisor is of the form of ax plus b. Okay, so ax plus b, x minus 3. So a is 1 and b is minus 3. So minus b by a is 3. So you have to simply deploy 3. Find the value of the polynomial at x equals to 3. So that's what we have done. We have found this out. And as I have removed, or let's say this A is, I am converting it to capital A. So let me convert it to capital A everywhere so that there is no confusion. So this A. Okay, 27A plus 41. Right? So after calculation, you get first remainder is 27A plus 41. Now, let's take the another poly the second polynomial. Right? Second polynomial is x cube minus 4x plus a. Now I'm again replacing this a by capital A so that you guys are not disturbed or confused. Okay, so let me just remove that. Yeah. So this is this a. Okay, so we are finding capital A in both cases. Okay. Now in the second case, this is our polynomial. This polynomial is given. So let me again write it as capital A. Okay, and again, we'll apply remainder theorem. So hence G3 will give you the remainder. So G3 remainder when GX is divided by X minus 3 will be simply G3, G of 3. So let me write that here. And I have written that. And you have to just replace this by capital A everywhere. So capital A, capital A, capital A, right? So if you deploy 3 in the GX, you will get remainder, second remainder R2, which is 15 plus A. Okay, now it's given that both of them leave the same remainder. That means if you divide this expression by x minus 3 and this expression or polynomial by x minus 3, they leave the same remainder. So that means the remainders can be equated. Both of them are same. So I have equated R1 is equal to R2. And let me just replace these by capital A everywhere so that you are not confused. So this one is also 27 capital A. So we are talking in terms of capital A only. Okay, so this one is capital A. So if you solve this expression 27a plus 41 was uh, the remainder obtained by first division. 15 plus a is the remainder obtained by second division. You equate both of them and you solve, you will get a is equal to minus 1. This is the solution. So if capital A is minus 1, then both these polynomials leave the same remainder when divided by this particular divisor. I hope you understood the application of this theorem in this question.